Hi, in this video, I'm going to answer the simple question, what makes a X comes back? We're going to see that actually what makes an X come back? It's what we call the emotional attraction. It's the emotion that makes an X come back. We're going to look in more details what it means for you and your relationship and your X jingle. I get my X back dot com. Everyone deserves a second chance. Before I do, you can subscribe and comment. It will help uh, grow the community and the channel and spread the world. Also, you can call me. Uh, I have about 10 slots per week where i am be more than happy to have a chat with you. It's totally free, 15 minutes. Sometimes, you know, having that conversation really helps people to get unstuck. And finally, you have a quiz to know if you have any chance to get back with your ex if you're in the dark and don't know exactly um, if you have any chance or not, you just click on the link in the first comment. It takes two minutes and you have a result with tons of recommendations. So first thing, as we discussed, what will bring your ex back is emotional attraction. So there's physical attraction, there's um, psychological attraction. What we want is to really tap into the emotional attraction. This is what would drive your ex to come back with you. And this is what we're going to see. We're going to look at the mistakes first. <laughs> You'll see what I mean by that. So after a breakup, obviously, the, em the emotional attraction is really, really low. And for them, it was really hard to live. If they loved you and you had a great relationship, it made them suffer to take that decision. They really had to bear that decision. And maybe they suffered for months before announcing that they decided to break up with you. So really acknowledge that it was hard for them. The thing is, what you have to do, your objective now, your focus now is to get that emotional attraction high again. And I'm not talking about just a spike, but really have a really sustainable high level of emotional attraction. We're going to look in this video how to do it. This is what will make them come back. That's it. Don't spend time begging. Don't spend time trying to convince them. We're going to look <laughs> at the mistakes people make. What makes a ex come back? It's hard to say, but I've said it again. What makes a ex come back is emotional attraction. Okay, write it down. My focus right now is to raise the emotional attraction with my ex. That's it. I'm not talking about Instagram. I'm talking about Facebook. I'm not talking about love letters. I'm talking about this. Okay, so the classic mistake. Let's go to it. Thinking that our oh, love is enough. I love them so much, you know, I can, you know, fix everything because I love them so much. It doesn't work like this. The thing that you can convince them or convince their family or their friends, the thing that the future will be wonderful and, you know, past is in the past and we're going to create something amazing. The thing that, you know, after a breakup, we just want to fix it quickly. You know, we don't want to lose any connection we have with our ex. And the thing is, we're going to talk them out of that decision. These five things never works. The reason is, as we explain and as I explain in my, in my videos, this decision has sort of grew in their mind for weeks and months. So it's not by trying to convince them, trying to push them, trying to show them that actually you will change, will be enough. As I said, the motivation here is to raise the emotional attraction. And the way it works, what works when it comes to get back with your ex, is for them to make that step towards you. And the only way you have this movement of them going back to you is when that emotional attraction is rising to a higher level. Don't try to convince, don't try to talk them out. If you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure it's you've tried all of this. It doesn't work, right? So don't stop doing things that don't, that don't work. <laughs> Listen to my advice and you'll see, we're going to see in the different points, why it works and how it works and everything in detail. So first of all, your ex need to see a future with you. This is really, really crucial, regardless whether they're still single or in a rebound relationship. The same mechanic here. You have to ask yourself, have you laid the groundwork for the relationship? Maybe they picture yourself or had that vision that you would have a big house or live in the countryside or whatever, or have a great job or a great career. If they look now at you, do you have this house? Do you have this job? Do you have this 
car, whatever. And I'm not necessarily talking about material stuff. I'm talking maybe just having a job, having something more stable. Maybe your ex, I don't know, if you're a guy and your ex tell you, told you that you play too, too many video games, you spend your hours uh, playing Xbox or, or PS5 or whatever. You get rid of this. You know, um, it's over. Action will actually be the best way to convince them. And I'm not talking about <laughs> taking a picture of, oh, I sold my Xbox, but by embracing it, by really believing in it. What is the relationship your ex want to have? So use that breakup, that time to reflect. And if you don't know exactly what it is, sometimes it's, it's very helpful to have a discussion with someone exterior, a coach or someone who's an expert in relationships, such as myself. So we can have a chat definitely to really understand what went wrong and what you should work on. Another technique, another way to understand that is what would their friend tell you? Um, if you ask their friends or their family, what would they say about your relationship? You know, what, what would be another person outside of your relationship would tell you about your relationship? Oh yeah, they were too much like this, or they were too much like this, or this was missing, these kind of things. Would we'll draw some conclusion a little bit like this. The thing is, the vision you have will have a strong effect in terms of your the perception of your reality. In other words, if you want, like marathon runners or sprint runners or any sort of professional sport people, they have that vision. They see the race, they see the track, and they have that vision. It's going to be the same for you. And this is what would raise the emotional attraction with your ex. As soon as you display that vision, as soon as you have a clarity on this vision, your ex will perceive that as well. And what's going to happen is that they're going to compare their life with that vision that you've created. And they're going to quickly realize that their day-to-day -day life without you is actually way, way less engaging, way, way less fulfilling than this vision that you've created. And you will cast doubt in their mind. This is what you have to do. Fourth one, they need to feel free. I'm going to say it, radio silence. <laughs> so don't be jealous, don't spy. The thing is, if you have that loss of freedom, if you create that loss of freedom in your ex's mind, they will push back. Nobody wants to be in a cage, especially after a breakup. They've asked to be alone. They've asked some space. You have to accept it. And I know it's hard to let go, but it's the best thing you can do because people need freedom. And the more you're going to try to trap them in that cage, the harder they want to, they will want to escape, and the harder it will be for you to get back together because they'll, you, that it will create really, really bad emotions and tensions between you guys, and it's exactly not what you want to create. So a person who feels free will not need to escape. So respect the decision, let them be free, and don't ask tons of questions. So ask a few questions, but that's it. Just a recap. So. Emotional attraction, let them raise this level. Let them come back to us. This is how it works. It's the only thing that works, okay? It's not just an option, it's the only thing that works. Have a future together, have that vision. You know, get someone to help you have that vision, do some hypnotherapy session or whatever. Really have this vision and respect that freedom. So while you're doing those vision exercise, uh, and I'm not talking about <laughs> spiritual stuff. I think I'm really talking about what people do in professional sport, what people, entrepreneurs do on a day-to-day -day life. They have this vision and they work towards that vision. And you do that and you respect that freedom. You let them that having that space. And this is what will happen. There's a big prize to be won and people are fighting for it. What is this big prize? It's you. Okay? After a breakup, we tend to feel really inferior and having a look up to our, to our ex, like that's the big prize to win. to win. You have to shift your mindset right now. You have to decide that right now, the prize, it's you. You are the prize to be won. They have to fight for you to win you over. Okay? Because the thing is, 
you have to reverse because if you run after the other, if you're needy, if you're always demanding, needy is not sexy. Think of yourself as a luxurious product. A very expensive purse or a very expensive car. It is exclusive. It is exclusive and you are exclusive and you basically would create that attraction by being that exclusive person, by being this person of high quality, that person that drive attraction that people want to buy, people want to be with you. Be that magnet, create this magnet. If you don't know exactly how to do it, again, have a chat with me. I'll be more than happy to give you some um, tailor tips. It depends if you're a guy or a woman, it depends on your age, even a few things. But unless you create that strong image, and I'm going to finish on that, create that strong image of a very fancy purse, you are the price to win, you cannot create emotional attraction. The thing is, you wear together for months, for years. So don't think that you can't do it. You were already that prize in the past. Okay? It's just a question of shifting your mindset. It's not because you, you broke up with your ex that you no longer have any value. You have been in love with that person. They loved you. You were that prize. You can definitely recreate that image and be that prize to be won. Fix what was broken, work on yourself, let your ex to have some freedom and create that image. You're a really, really lovely purse that everybody wants to buy, that everybody wants to be with. Take care. Bye.